Hey, what's up guys? So this video, I don't know where it's going to end up, but we're going to start with looking at uh, a question I keep seeing popping up in Discord, on Twitch, all over Elestral's chat, just everywhere. And that question is, why does Sluggle have two defense and Quackle have three? What's the deal with that? Why are they the same card? So just to go over them quickly, Sluggle's a 2-2 two, two for one water. When you cast a Sluggle, you return three water from your underworld to your spirit deck. And then Quackle is a 2-3 for 1 Thunder. When you cast this Quackle, you can turn up to 3 Thunder from your Underworld to your Spirit deck. That's the same card, just different elements, right? So why aren't they both 2-2s two or both 2-3s? So they're not the same card. One gets Thunder, one gets Water. Secondly, that, well, not really secondly, but... The fact that one is water and one is thunder has a huge impact on what you actually can do with these cards. So Quackle, there is almost no way to special a Quackle, except maybe if it's in your underworld, you can get that with a rise from. Right? Sluggle, on the other hand, being in water, you can special this out with a Capricorn. You can special it out with a Foamy. You can special it out with a rise from. This card has three ways, two of which are fairly common. Foamy and Rise from are fairly common in decks to just get Sluggle special into play and recover those three water. So if Sluggle had more defense than the Quackle, Sluggle would just be a stronger card because not because its effect would be better, but because the color support in water for water cards is stronger for water to get this out easier. And that's where the balance is. Quackle has almost no way to find it. Has almost no way to special it. It has an extra defense point. Luggle has multiple common ways to get it out. And will commonly be used in decks that like to, you know, ramp out stuff. You know, rise from into a Sluggle to special into a Capricol. That's a really, like, semi-common strategy in, that, in a water deck. Like... Getting out of Capricol is really, really strong in a water deck. So in a water deck, you could rise from your Sluggle, ascend into Capricol, and then get the Sluggle back for another three water. You can't do that with Quackle. So there's two less defense for that reason. That's why Sluggle has less defense. There's so much more ways you can do things with Sluggle than you can Quackle. Uh, another common, like similar ability, so we're looking at Foamy again, right? So Foamy, when destroyed in battle, you can special cast an Elestral with enchantment cost of one water from your deck in defense position. Well, you can do that same thing with Earth Scout, but Earth Scout's now limited to Earth Scout, Erzbog, and Earth Seer. So why does Earth Scout have one less attack? So the designer of these cards are clearly valuing the Erzmog, Earth Scout, Earth Seer tribe stuff or archetype as more valuable than getting out those one drop waters. Which is a fair, you know, kind of point you can make. Like, you know, if you go get your Urzmog and you have some more bears in your hand, you can all of a sudden just flood your board. You can't do that in water. So maybe the one less attack on Earth Scout is relevant. Uh, but no one really puts Earth Scout and Foamy in attack position unless they're trying to do something with it. Like, you know, chip for damage or something. So the one attack set, that's super relevant. But that's what you need to look at with cards is you can't just say oh it's the same card in a different element that different element means the card is going to be doing something different like look at thunder thunder has no five attackers or no conditional five attackers right but they have riceros so if we just go quickly jump into the uh card catalog let me pull up riceros for y'all riceros is a two four and it stops anything attacking that's not Thunder Enchanted, which means in Thunder that nothing's getting over Riceros as a Thunder Elestral, which makes Riceros almost equivalent to a 5 defense. Because now it's basically saying, hey, if you're running Thunder, you're not getting over Riceros anyway. And if you're running any other element, you can't attack. So, elemental, like, you know, what each element does is relevant to card balance. This is a really common concept in other games like Magic the Gathering, where a white 2-1 in Magic is a fair and balanced, you know, kind of 
yeah, white well, gets a two one for one. Whereas a two one for one in red might be a little bit more kind of like, well, that's not quite what red's doing. You know, each color, each element has its own synergies and effects strictly to that element. And you really need to look at what those cards are doing in the element to balance them. You know, the only thing equivalent to Rhyceros might be a Floracne, which is a 4-8, but it's two fire, so the stats kind of make up for it. We could look at, like, say, Tectoris and Valkyries. There's Valkyries, there's Tectoris. You know, both are three twos for their one element that get extra attack for each of their element in play. And they're both the same starting stat line. Which is fair because both Earth and Fire have a lot of ways to get a lot of their elements out into play. So one doesn't really need to be less or more than the other. Because they're both going to get out, you know, their uh, artifacts easy with Sprider, Festus, you know, play a bunch of things. I think Valkyrie is a little bit stronger because the Festus will be left with two, Sprider will be one, and you still need to play Thectors after. But they're about on par. So whenever you're looking at cards, just because one card in an element does the same thing you got to look at it with your elements in mind and that's all this video is really about i hope you guys learned something uh if sluggle gets pushed to a 2-3 it's not the end of the world if Pyle gets pushed down to a 2-2 two, two, it's not the end of the world but from a balanced perspective water has a lot more ways to get sluggle and even if sluggle was a 1-1 one, one, i think sluggle would probably see a little bit more play than quacklewood just because of the water support I can't be sure of that, but that's just some quick thoughts. I hope you guys were educated or felt educated or want to debate me in the comments below. But yeah, just remember, color identity is a thing in you know other card games. It's more or less a thing right now in Elestrals with our elements. So take each you know same effect with a grain of salt. Really kind of analyze what each element does and why it might need to be stronger or weaker compared to another element that does the same thing. So uh, yeah, with that, I hope you guys have a great day and uh, peace.